to come on this journey with me. <laughs> Steve, would you kindly? Wendy Fisher has been the executive director of the Help Center for 44 years. She was born in Germany, and on the eve of World War II, her family left on the last boat because of the growing Nazi ideology. At the end of the late, 60s, at the late 50s, she came to Bozeman, and here she is at the top of Blackmore. At 93 years, she is retiring. The Help Center began in 1971, a movement started in response to increased drug use that has morphed into so much more. The Help Center had a rocky start, but in 1975, Wendy took a position. Her children told her it would be a good job for a few years. Here we are, 44 years later. Wendy's core values stem from her parents' opposition to the Nazi movement. This taught her early that there is a better authority with which to make up your mind. Feeling that it is okay to be different gave Wendy the ability to accept others, which has significantly influenced the Help Center culture for decades. Wendy has been a touchstone for the Help Center culture. This culture is one of unconditional regard, resiliency, and understanding for not only clients, but staff and volunteers. When I came to the Help Center eight years ago, I doubted myself after years of systematic shame. The Help Center and Wendy saw my strength and fostered my resiliency. Individuals are not the only ones that need resiliency. Organizations do as well. Like many nonprofits over 47 years, the Help Center has experienced our own crisis, funding crisis mostly. Wendy recognized the value of what the Help Center was providing and wanted to figure out a way to be sustainable. Wendy and the board opened the first Saks Thrift store in the late 80s, using a model where the proceeds from the store supported the Help Center services while also recycled goods and created jobs. The community support over the years has kept the Help Center afloat, allowing us to provide services unconditionally to those in vulnerable situations. The idea of unconditional support can seem impossible. How do we accept our own flaws or the flaws of others? How can we come from a place of non-judgment? I've experienced it and the growth from acceptance. Wendy taught me, and it can be learned, imagine a world where we focus on a person's strengths and valued each other's differences. I was told that my differences would inhibit me from achieving academically and therefore professional success. I internalized this for years and manifested a deep shame pit. Even in my master's program, my educators doubted my abilities. But it was as an intern at the Help Center that I was given space to find my strength and walk my own path. Who knew I'd end up here presenting as a community educator with a master's degree and a license in counseling? The Help Center in Wendy. I found a home at the Help Center on Peach Street, the tree in the yard, and Wendy's car in the drive. It is here that I've learned from Wendy and worked with amazing people. Wendy doesn't just offer this support, but teaches it to us and, and offers it through nurturing. She wants every person who uses the crisis hotline or the suicide hotline to know unconditional support. Really, she would want everyone to know this, that it is okay to feel whatever you are feeling and that you don't have to be alone. In the early years, the Help Center focused on supporting those with drug and alcohol addiction. It became clear that underneath that addiction were life stories of pain. She worked tirelessly to train volunteers and staff on topics like abuse, depression, grief, and suicide so that we can support our neighbors. In the first five years under Wendy's leadership, the Health Center developed the first rape outreach team. She made progressive strides supporting trauma, knowing the lasting and devastating effects it can have. This program grew with the help of Christina Powell into the Sexual Assault Counseling Center and the Child Advocacy Center. Wendy and the Help Center forged lasting connections within the community that support some of the nonprofits that we love today. Big Brothers and Big Sisters, career transitions started out of the Help Center. Other organizations in the early years received support from the Help Center as well. Since 1971, the local crisis hotline number 586-3333 has been answered 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We're like the post office, rain or shine, but we don't take holidays. Even when there are events at the Health Center honoring Wendy, someone is answering that line. The Gallatin Valley has seen many changes over the years, 
and the Help Center has seen an increased need for our services. Being 93, Wendy has witnessed these changes firsthand. But one thing has remained constant, the answering of the crisis hotlines. Around 2007, under Wendy's guidance, the Help Center expanded to become a part of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline Network. Surely you've seen the ads, Lifeline for the Suicide Lifeline Hotline. When someone calls 1-800-273-TALK, the Help Center will be there to support you. For some perspective, in 1976, we took on average 300 calls, and in our most recent month, we've taken 1,400, 150 of which were suicide related. These are the same topics that Wendy recognized in the early years that need unconditional support, understanding, and resiliency. While many might view this work as a sacrifice, Wendy has always viewed her work as a privilege. Bearing witness to the most vulnerable moments in others is an honor. And I can tell you from personal experience that it has been an honor and a privilege to work with Wendy Fisher. Wendy's a legend. She supports us as staff and volunteers, still offering to be backup. If anyone has any questions, just call her at home. But we need to wait 20 minutes because she has to drive and she doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> she will continue to influence the culture of the Help Center for years. Though this is a bittersweet transition for us at the Help Center, it is also joyous. A time to reflect on the gifts that Wendy has given, not just to us, but the community and we hope to continue her legacy into the future. We'll be available like she was, 24 hours a day, every day of the year. <laughs>